We're going to tear down our Roots 36 URI today. First thing we're going to do is drain the oil out of the gearbox housing. There's a square plug down at the bottom. We're going to loosen that up and any oil drain out of there that might be left in the gearbox housing. And you're going to take the gearbox housing off. Uh, we use an impact wrench. There's a dead blow hammer to soften up the gearbox housing a bit there to try to break it free from its gasket. After a while, it tends to stick a bit, so you just knock it gently. Get an impact wrench on the gear lock nuts and get a gear puller. You don't want to take the gear nut or the lock nuts off all the way because we're going to actually be uh, taking the gears off. You put some force on that puller and then you strike it. That gives a shock load that'll knock it off its taper and that gear will come pop off of the taper and uh, hopefully that gear nut will stop it in its place. That's why you want to leave those gear nuts on there. Mark your gears so that when you go to put it back together, you can put it together with the same orientation. We match mark our unit so that we uh, know how we took it apart. So match mark the cylinder to each of the head plates so you know the orientation to put it back together on. Okay, so now we're removing the uh, grease cover on the driven shaft and we'll be knocking out the uh, drive shaft seal. And since you're not saving that, you normally you just uh, get a screwdriver in there and you jam it in there and pry it free. Take those uh, head plate nuts off. Then there's two dowel pins that you're going to have to take out. We use a brass punch to knock those out. Get those knocked out. I'm going to go ahead and take off the mounting feet, get them out of your way. Makes it a little bit easier to work on the machine. Go ahead and thread in a couple of jacking bolts. There's two threaded holes on the head plate there, diagonally placed. Again, you just start to back off the head plate and take it off evenly. Flip it around to the gear end. Here we're using a, a wedge to uh, bring the gears up tight to the nuts. Go ahead and back off the gear lock nuts. And you can easily take the timing gears off the machine. Off they come. Remove the bearing clamp plates. Now you can knock out the impellers. Just using a dead bolt blow hammer there to knock out the impellers. Make sure you kind of got a hold on that impeller so it doesn't go flying on you. Take out the dowel pins on the gear end head plate. Again, we're using the brass punch. And you're going to go ahead and take off the bolts that hold the head plate onto the cylinder. Once you get those bolts off, there goes the head plate. Easily slides off. Take a look at the cylinder. Quick view. Drive out the bearing. And then you'll end up driving out the seal after you get the bearings out. Again, we're using the brass punch to get those components out. Look at your impellers. Drive out the bearings. Drive out the seals. And you've torn down your machine.